Hi, here is a video on how you can use uh, Quick Magic to import motion capture in iClone uh, based on just video you take from your smartphone. So it's much faster than to use a, a mockup suit and you still get usable results. So once you log into Quick Magic that you can find on, on Google, uh, you just want to go in AI mockup and grab a video that can be kind of any smartphone video, uh, full HD uh, with the paid version you can go up to 2 minutes but if you want to try for free you can use a, a 10 second video so once you dropped your video you just want to use the Mixamo format and drag and drop it onto the actor and that's it, you just click next here you want to grab the full body, the hand most likely uh, you can select the T pose as the first uh, first pose, and yeah, you you can see the the cost. And basically, compared to Move AI, it's uh, it's way cheaper than even Move One, and the result is higher quality than than Move One, and of course uh, than Rococo video, because even if it's a dual camera Rococo video. Is kind of lower quality than Move One and thus lower quality than Quick Magic. <coughs> so it takes a, a few minutes, but it's pretty fast. So then you can just click on the video, and it will load the 3D animation. So one major aspect uh, is that uh, elevation tracking is not taken into account. So here in this use case, uh, I will have to keyframe the elevation basically. But you can see that the foot contacts are pretty clean and the hands, uh, fingers is not too jittery. <coughs> so that's really good compared to other solutions. So from there you can just click download. You get a zip file, you can extract it. And then in iClone <coughs> you can simply drag and drop this uh, Mixamo file. iClone will automatically detect uh, the Mixamo format for the armature and you can just uh, untick these two options you don't need the, the t-pose and you can check the fps you can click convert all and then you'll see your mockup retargeted onto your character so then obviously you can transform the mockup clip with the motion direction control feature of iClone it's very very practical to position your mockup uh, in your scene how you want, uh, independently from the other mockup clip you have. So here I can make the characters uh, follow each other, and to correct the elevation tracking, I can, for example, uh, rotate the wall clip like this. So the character is basically climbing. I'm just placing a <coughs> placeholder ground. So I can have a, an exact reference on how to <coughs> align the feet to a, to a physical reference. So I know my environments can match this uh, ground placeholder. And then really simply I can just tilt the feet to be hori horizontal because they are climbing on some stairs that will be modeled uh, based on the motion capture. So here I'm on a new layer by default. So if I just uh, tilt the the foot, it will stay this way on the wall clip basically. I can grab the keyframe and put it at the start. So right from the start, I have my feet uh, horizontal, and then I can also correct the torso if I want. So the character is a bit more forward. So here I just made sure my torso modification happens until here and when the character stops I have another keyframe same on this character and make the feet horizontal so I compensate the fact that uh, I tilted the wall animation and here I have my characters uh, with elevation tracking their feet are horizontal and their torso as well is uh, vertical, so it feels right. Uh, even if there was no elevation tracking in Quick Magic, so that's 
pretty easy to fix in iClone. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, just drag and drop your video, drag and drop the result on your iClone character, and then you can use the motion direction control and the edit motion layer on a new layer to correct your motion capture.